were both teachers in California, and my husband was inner city, um, LA County, and he, I always like to make the joke that goat kids are a lot less likely to talk back to you, so he was ready for a change um, and had been looking into doing something different. And um, I actually loved teaching though, I must admit. Um, and so, but I had some major health changes and my doctors said I had to quit and I was supposed to de-stress. Sometimes I laugh and think oh, we went with a farm. But um, a lot of times, as you can see, it's beautiful and serene. And we moved here 2011 in February and he was in Vermont training in April. By September of 2011, we had a small herd of goats that we were milking, and there is the raw um, milk law in the state of Arkansas that covers goat and cow. There's um, the other extreme where you have the USDA grade A kind of a level, which is where we're at, and we can make an end product and sell it. A lot of people don't understand the difference between creamery and dairy, and we are both, um, and we're a farmstead dairy. Um, so creameries buy milk, that's why we are called White River Creamery. We do buy local USDA cow milk to make our cheeses with, and then we also milk our own goats, which makes us a goat dairy, and a farmstead goat dairy, meaning we use that product through the USDA certifications to make cheese as well. Um, soaps and lotions are a little bit easier, we don't have to certify those, um, but we do cow cheeses and goat cheeses. and. We are the only ones in Arkansas at this time doing that. Butterfat is such a big deal, you know you're on a dairy when they're bragging about butterfat, that it has to be tested third party. So our girls have tested out at 9.8% butterfat. So it's like cream. It's probably some of the richest milk there is in the nation. It also has a high protein content and a very low caprinic acid. Um, so most goats are gonna be about 15% caprinic acid, but Nigerian dwarfs are less than 1% and so their milk's really special and it makes a very unique special cheese. People think we whip our chev when we get chev out there, um, but it's just the way all of the proteins and everything form into a cheese that's this nice, soft, fluffy, rich, creamy cheese. So since most of our cow milk that we purchase is gonna be Holstein and our goat milk is that rich butter fat, I always think it's funny because people lean away from goat cheese a lot of times. It's like, oh, I can guarantee you that our cow cheese is tangier in the fromage than our goat cheese is in the chev. It's richer and creamier. You know, when we came here, it seemed like such a scary thing. Now I always laugh and look back because it's such a beautiful place. Um, Scott, it's kind of his dream. You know, he was the little kid with a tractor and now he gets to actually have his own tractor and his own farm. and. He has no intentions of leaving, and I did have to leave teaching, but it's become a great outlet to be able to educate people um, farming and cheese and dairies, and so it's kind of a win-win for both of us, and luckily our kids have all settled down in the area. They've been working on and off the farm at times as adults. So Scott's dream had always been for this to be a family farm. Um, you know, as your kids get older and they go off with their own dreams, he worried we started too late. Um, but I tell him, well, we've got to let them do their dreams while we have ours. And if they coincide again and some of them come back to the farm and work for us, then that's great. And if not, um, it's a beautiful place. We love it. We're not planning on going anywhere. And, you know, we love to enjoy our kids on the farm, even when they're not working with us. So, so the easiest way to find out where to get our product um, is literally just to text us. You know, our number's out there on every product. It's a public number. You just text 479-310-0355 and we text me what city's closest to you and I'll let you know where you can find it.